Welcome to the 2021 AXA Every Student Succeeding video series, where every week we'll take you to a different part of the state to catch up with one of our amazing Every Student Succeeding winners. This week, we're in Palm Desert to visit with Region 19 winner, Adrian Grajeda from Palm Desert. Hi, Adrian. Thanks for doing this, man. Hello. Thank you. Let's start with this. When you found out that you won the Every Student Succeeding Award, what was your reaction and, and what does it mean to you? Uh, my, so when I found out I won the Every City, uh, Students Exceeding Award, um, I was like really surprised. My mom told me and, uh, she was like super happy. And then, uh, we were super happy together. And then like, we were just, we were just like, uh, we we're just stoked, like super happy. It's just what it was. Yeah. As you've learned a little bit more about this award, what does it mean to you to, to, to be the winner of, of something like this? Yeah. Uh, it means a lot to me. I, I'm grateful for it. And, uh, like, it just it it's really um uh, it's it's special to like know that you're um you're somebody that you know has gone through something and you're like you're looked at as somebody that's uh kind of like inspirational in a way and I'm, I'm grateful for it. Well, that you are October twenty third, twenty thirteen is is a day that will live with you forever. For the people who don't know your story, Adrian, can you share what happened out on that playground at at Abraham Lincoln Elementary? All right, no problem. So uh, when I was uh, 10 years old, it was recess for elementary uh, school. And then um, I went out to go play soccer and I was just kicking uh, like kicking soccer balls with my friends. Like and then uh, next to like the intersection, uh, a car, a drunk driver went through and uh, the fence uh, like fell apart. And then some of the metal sliced my leg and then uh, damaged all my nerves and just, like hit severe arteries. And then, uh, like, I, shortly I fell on the ground, and then uh, the teachers helped me, and then uh, I was airlifted to, like, a uh, hospital. You ended up losing your right leg just below yep. the knee. Adrian, to be 10 or 11 years old and have to deal with something that heavy, I, I wonder emotionally how you reacted to all of it. Uh, yeah, all, like, when I was uh, in middle school, it was, like, super, super tough like going, uh, going through all that. And then uh, I also had like nightmares of the accident and everything like that. And then just wanting to be normal was like something of mine. I don't know. It was like a little phase went through middle school. It was super, uh, super hard on me through some of those years, especially like uh, adjusting back to like normal life, having to learn how to walk again, all that. You alluded to it earlier, Adrian, but I, I just wonder what type of role the school community played in those early stages after the accident. As you said, there were teachers who, who literally saved your life on that playground. Yep. So uh, I'm super grateful for a lot of the teachers. Like uh, when my accident happened, there was uh, there's there's plenty of teachers that went over there and helped me. And then um, one of them took off their shirt and tied it around my leg, tried to stop the bleeding, did everything they could. And uh, yeah, I'm super grateful for that. Also, like, uh, like coaches, like football coaches, people like that, like they would uh, help me through it. And I developed like a bond with some of them, uh, stuff like that. Just, you know, just helping me through it and helping me get through everything. One of the things that I find interesting, Adrian, is you participated in a wounded warriors camp um, not too long after the accident. How much did that change your mindset and how you approach things today? All right. So uh, the wounded warriors camp really helped me a lot. Uh, just seeing older people and just kids just like me just everywhere it uh it helped me realize that I'm not the only one and that I'm not I'm not just like a weirdo or like anything like that I'm just different and uh just you know seeing older people living their everyday life and uh just doing everything perfectly and just you know living uh really was inspiring and it made me want to grow up and just be be great just like them Adrian, for all the students who might be facing similar situations, for students who have dealt with, with medical trauma like you, what would your advice be to them? Uh, I would give them, I would tell them to try their best regardless of like their situation. I know that there's uh, so much you can do, but I would say don't take pity on yourself and give it your all no matter what. I know you're different, but uh, if you take, if you give any of yourself like uh, any excuses, everyone has uh, some problems, that, but you got to, you got to fight through those and give it your all and everything. That's Adrian Grajeda, our Region 19 winner from Palm Desert High. Adrian, man, your energy is palpable. I'm so thrilled that you were willing to share your story with us. Best of luck moving forward. Thank you. I'm, uh, I'm grateful for this. Thank you. And thank you so much for watching. More Every Student Succeeding stories coming your way throughout the year. For all of us here, I'm Michael Kelly. We'll see you next time.